Hello students, you all know that places around the world are so different from one another. Some are cold and some are very hot and dry and some are so humid. And yet we find all these places have many living creatures of various kinds. There is no place on the earth where you will not find any living creatures. Living creatures are found everywhere on earth. We find a large variety of plants and animals in different surroundings. For example, if we take two such surroundings such as a sea and a desert, we find that in a sea plants and animals are surrounded by saline water. Saline water means salty water and most of them use the air dissolved in water. Whereas there is very little water available in the desert. It is very hot at daytime and very cold during the night. The plants and animals live on the desert soil and breathe the air from the surroundings. So we can say that sea and desert are two very different surroundings and we find very different organisms in these two region. Now let us take or understand two very different organisms from desert and sea that is camel and fish. First let us understand why a camel is able to survive in a desert. The body structure of the camel enables it to live in a desert. The camels have long legs which help them to escape from the intense heat of the sun. They excrete very little urine, their dung is also dry and they sweat very less. So since camels lose very little water from their bodies, they can survive for many days without water. Now let us understand why a fish is able to live inside water. Fishes have a streamlined shape. When I say streamlined, it means tapering at both the ends and broad in the middle. Fishes also have slippery scales on their body. These scales protect the fish and also help them in easy movement through water. Fishes also have gills which help them use the oxygen dissolved in water. They have flat fins and tails which help them change directions and keep balance in water. So we can say that features in fish help it to live inside water and the features present in camel help it to survive in a desert. Variety of organisms have certain features which help them live in the surroundings in which they are normally found. So the specific features which enable a plant or an animal to live in its surrounding is called as adaptation. This means that many organisms have developed certain parts of their bodies or certain behaviors which makes them stay alive in certain environment. Different animals are adapted to their different surroundings in different ways. Remember students, adaptation does not take place in a short period of time. Adaptation in living organisms takes place over thousands of years. The surroundings in which an organism lives is called its habitat. Habitats are of two types, terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitat. The habitats of plants and animals that live on land are called as terrestrial habitat. The word terra in Latin means land or earth and the word aqua in Latin means water. So the habitats of plants and animals that live in water means aquatic habitats. Now some examples of terrestrial habitats are forest, grasslands, coastal regions and mountain regions. And some examples of aquatic habitat are ponds, rivers, lakes, oceans. The habitat or surroundings in which the organism live is made up of two components. 
biotic components and abiotic components. The living organisms that is the plants and animals make up its biotic components. Whereas the various non-living things such as rocks, air, water, light, temperature constitute its abiotic components. Sunlight and heat also form the abiotic components of the habitat. We know that some plants grow from seeds. When the seeds sprout, we say it has germinated and the process is called germination. This is the beginning of new plant from the seed. But this is not possible without the abiotic factors such as air, water, light, heat, etc. Abiotic factors change over the period of time. Those animals which cannot adapt to these changes die out and only the adapted ones survive. Different animals adapt to different abiotic factors in different ways and this results in the formation of variety of animals in different habitats. So today we have studied about adaptation which means the presence of certain specific features which enable a plant or an animal to live in its surrounding. We have also studied about the habitat which in other words means the surroundings in which an organism lives. We have also studied about the types of habitats that is the terrestrial habitat which means on land and the aquatic habitat and we have also studied about the components of this habitat that is biotic components and abiotic components. So with this we have completed the part 1 of the lesson the living organisms and their surroundings.